Hey guys, what's up? Mai here, and uh, today, uh, firstly, just to say, I've got my internet back, so I'm going to start uploading regularly again. Uh, from tomorrow onwards, I will be, you know, chucking projects on Void Up. Uh, but, you know, just for today, I'm just going to be showing off this mod quickly. Uh, it's not really a mod, it's more of a useful tool for Project Zomboid. It's called the Save File Manager. So, I've had a few emails from people asking me to do tutorials and, you know, how to back up your saves in Project Zomboid. And, you know, how to have more than one save. And, you know, I, I know how to do it manually, but it was always kind of a pain. So, I decided to make a mod just to make it easier. So, if you want to get it, just head over to Xenolith. Uh, you know, you can read through that information if you want. But, you know, it's it's a pretty straightforward program. So just click download. We're waiting, and it's a very, very small exe file. So once you have it, yes, we just want to run. Okay, so this is basically what the program looks like once you have it open. So with Project Zomboid, the save files work like this. Uh, see this backslash sandbox? That's going to be your main folder. That's your main save. So whenever you load up Project Zomboid, it loads the save from the folder called Sandbox. Now, if you want to know where this is specifically, you can just double click on it and it will actually bring up your Project Zomboid folder and, you know, you'll be inside that specific save. So, you know, you guys can see all that stuff there. So if we close that down, now we can kind of look at all of our different things. So if we want to load uh, Sandbox underscore test, just click load. Uh, it'll ask you to rename the current default uh, save. So we want to rename sandbox to, uh, you know, sandbox underscore old or something like that. So, you know, we've got our sandbox underscore old there, and our sandbox underscore test has now been renamed. Uh, you can also just go through, click on things, rename them. Uh, you know, if we don't want that to be main underscore two, we just want it to be main. That'll work. Uh, and, you know, it all does change on this back end. And if you want a new save altogether, uh, you know, just click new save. Um, if you already have a default save there, it's going to ask you to rename it once again, so we'll call that old one. And, uh, you know, now we've got a new sandbox, so next time you open up the game, it's going to, you know, ask you to create a new character and a new map. So, that's basically it. Uh, hopefully this tool is useful. I don't think it's going to work on Mac or Linux, and you do need the .NET framework to run it. Uh, yeah, so, you know, if you guys like it, be sure to leave a like, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll be back tomorrow to start continuing my Let's Play finally. Feels good to have internet, man. That's all I can say.